I'd say if there's not, if the only way to get Brittany Garner back is to give them this terrorist, she'd have to suffer the consequences. She'd have to, she'd have to handle it. She'd have to do the sentence that came with her crime. Like you would have to, you would have to go ahead and, and just take that on the chin. Just like if somebody in, in the U.S. did something. Okay, this video is like somebody else's reaction, I think. Black Trump supporter debates white liberal. This was a few months ago, so let's go ahead and see what what they talking about. You six months ago? Yeah, about six months. Where'd you grow up? What's the state of North Carolina? Go to high school, college. Yeah, I uh, graduated from the same business university. College was I. I graduated top of my class though. Really? Yeah. And and now you make music, huh? Yeah, you know. There's a lot of politics with music though. Music has a heavy influence in the culture. Do you think? It's politically towards Trump or Biden? Rap was being rocking with Trump. Trump honestly the only person that really fooled with the black community. He just don't like lazy people. And a lot of people are lazy. And he'll bump. Because of that government assistance, the left, they keep you lazy. They keep you complacent. They keep you where you at. I'm telling you. They try to force this narrative on Trump a bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. If it's a bandwagon on top, hate this person, hate this person. People don't think for themselves no more. I just wonder why the why the media are is so focused on going against Trump. He's the only president we've had recently to actually want to help out the Americans, you know? Right. Like even like Atlanta, like where we're at right now, it's like the Democrats are the ones in control of this. Look at it compared to other cities, you know? I think black people should vote more Republican. See, I've been voting for Trump, man. Like, I've been rocking with Trump. I go into an HBCU. I'd be like, I'm voting for Trump. They'd be like, seriously, why? I'm like, because. Well, like, like he said, his daddy gave him a small loan of a million dollars. And he turned that into billions. A lot of people want a million dollars, but they want to spend a million dollars. They don't want to work. If he turned a million into billions, why wouldn't you want to follow that? That's a this brother right here is on to something. Oh, me. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it wasn't a million. I believe his father gave him a small loan of $5 million. Uh, let's just to correct him on that real fast. But he turned $5 million to a couple billion. And he want, he's 100% right. A lot of people, they want to spend a million. They don't want to invest a million. Uh -huh. He's on to something there. Uh -huh. But America is the best country. Everybody say we're the greatest. What ideology is... Doesn't everybody want closed border, a strong economy, money in their pocket? They say they want it. A person may want this raincoat back from us. Yeah, but, the, but then they don't put in the action and the work required exactly. to get it. Right. But they want it. You right. just really wake up, think of a, think of an idea, and make your idea you know, into a reality. Facts. North Korea, they already assigning what you're going to be when you grow up. Trump was the first president to go to North Korea, though. That was some boss shit. Uh, people don't understand. Trump is an actual boss. He's, so, he's a real person. Trump was coaching America to success. So why would we go the other way? They call me crazy, call me stupid for even rocking with them. And you see how I look. Like, I look like a... Like, <laughs> not, not, I mean, when we in school, people think they, they grades higher than mine. Like, I'm telling y'all, this is who y'all need to vote for. And, like, have to dump it down to them. This is a boss. We're about to go do this. Before we get this debate popping, that young brother right there, That's obviously, smart. he is a uh, well-informed brother. Yeah. Don't judge a book by its cover. Facts. I know a lot of you guys see the dread, so forth and so on, the and you can kind of hear his vernacular. Right. But do not judge a book by its cover. This brother is extremely intelligent based on what I've heard thus far. Let's go. Social experiment and see if people would guess that Merton would vote for Trump. It's going to be very interesting. Make sure if you guys haven't already, you're liking, you're retweeting, you're sharing this video. We're about to come at the heat throughout the year. So let's go ask some people what they think. Do you say retweet. Who do you think this person would vote for? Trump or Biden? Oh, sorry, I am not from here, so uh, I have no clue. I'm from Europe. Europe? So. Who do you think this person would vote for? Are you a Biden supporter? With pink hat, probably, you know? I guess he voted for Biden. <laughs> Who do you think this person would vote for? Trump or Biden? 
because this video is a little older, when we hear Biden, let's just think Kamala. Biden. Let's just think Kamala. I would say Biden. Why? The black vote is 90% for Biden, at least. And he looks very smart. That's why I would say Biden. Biden. And she'll be. Merton. How you doing, Bob? Merton, how you doing? How you Scott. Doing, so, Scott would think that you would vote for Biden. Why do you think that? 90% black vote goes to Biden. Trump is a disaster and does nothing for minorities or the poor or anything. Just to correct this brother right here, it was actually 88%, not 90 and in 2016, it was 8%. So from 2016 to 2020, the number actually grew uh, 4%. So from 8% to 12%, just to correct this brother right here. For, except for himself. And are you a Trump supporter? Yeah, I, I support Trump. Okay. Because I feel like Trump is more of a real person. And I feel like he relates more to ordinary people. He's not a person being bought out. Like, Whatever he says is genuinely how he feels. Oh, I and, agree with that. And, and what he says is what drives me crazy. I'd rather hear somebody say it, and I might not like it, and it's their truth, than to somebody that has been paid to say something, and they're not acting on how they really feel. Well, what about Biden? You know, I believe what he says, and I compare Trump's presidency of four years. What did he do for you and me? He created more jobs. No, he didn't. Biden created 12 million jobs in the, the, the two and a half years that he has been president. Do you know that um, Trump created over 8 million and the only reason Biden has created over 12 million is because people came back to work from COVID? So they've actually included those numbers. Trump did not Under Trump White House, unemployment rate fell to a 50 year low and more Americans were employed than ever before. That's, That's not true. Facts. Dropping bars on him and look at him, he's still. That's what's wrong with Democrats. Even with the facts, they just deny it. It's just like they, they're they already brainwashed. And when you're his age, he's probably been brainwashed for years. Years on years on years. He's not he's not changing that. He won't believe it. That's so are you telling me that the national archives.gov is not true? Look at your look at your My source is the White House. My source is the is the government. Because I've I've noticed that is lower than it's ever been in fifty years. Is that due to inflation being so high that people need to work two hundred jobs? Inflation is way down. But, and, you know, and, you know, you know what caused the inflation? How? His mishandling of the COVID virus. All he did was a tax cut for the wealthy, and he didn't. No, he did. A, he actually did the platinum plan for Black Americans, and he put the most funding into HBCU, Black universities. Not That's a hundred percent fact. Not true. That's a hundred percent fact. Not, you said Biden increased the minimum wage, right? Yes. You know that made everything else go up, right? No. That's a fallacy. You look at the states that have the highest minimum wage. It doesn't make their cost go up. You know, I grew up in California with the highest minimum wage. Gas prices over seven dollars. The home well, I grew up in. Gas prices in California. Yeah, but but not just gas. The grocery prices are up over seventy five percent. I grew up there. I had to move. The price of a home when I was growing up for a three bedroom house was three to four thousand a month in rent. Now it's over eight. What about all the crimes that, that Trump has committed? What crimes? He's been indicted four times. Like I said in the Charlie Kirk video. People refuse to, I wouldn't necessarily say when it, when people, when the conversations are happening and people can't come to a mutual agreement, it's not necessarily because of, it doesn't have anything to do with like the left versus the right or like conservative versus Democrat, just like the person that's speaking the truth and the facts, everybody else goes against that and say, even just now, like he gave facts and every single time he gave a fact, this guy denied it and came up with something different. He, he pulled up another problem he had. They talked about all this, the, the jobs, right? The prices. So because he can't win in that argument, now he, well, what about all the crimes he did? See what I'm saying? I just, sometimes some people are just not. It's best to conversate and debate with somebody who's open to having a new insight on certain things, learning something different and understanding something that they possibly misunderstood. Not everything you might've heard is uh, not true, right? But if you're open to 
seeing and understanding something different just to compare it to what you've already knew and believed in it's much easier to conversate with those people those type of people then you could come to an agreement and even if you don't those people are able to walk away and think think about it at least you know what i'm saying when somebody who's not even open to understanding he a lot of people don't even want to hear the good things that trump has done they refuse to hear it they just want to hate trump just to hate trump bro they just got hate in their heart bro like it's simple and then you refuse to think for yourself you don't want to be the guy that's like oh i think this when a hundred other people next to you think something different you don't want to be that guy you're afraid to be that guy and that's y'all's problem y'all want to be like everybody else you want to do what the majority do Time for what? He tried to steal the election of no, Biden. No, no, no. no, no. Yes, he... All this guy has is CNN and MSNBC yes. talking points. Tell me yes. you only watch the DNC propaganda channels without telling Tell me, me yeah. you watch the DNC he propaganda definitely watch channels. CNN, I've seen a lot of you guys talking like this in the comment section. I see you. Some of y'all guys I've responded to. I see you. He hasn't been found guilty. You, you're an American man. Now listen to what you're saying. You, he's innocent. Like, until he's proven like, guilty. See now what you're saying. He innocent until proven guilty. I could go downtown right now and say you did such and such to me. Well, if you say I did something to you, it'd be false. I haven't done anything to you. So Trump can't have that same argument. No, but you look at all the evidence that's on the record. What evidence? That anything could be manufactured. Like right now, we having a conversation, right? It's a man with a camera right here. Absolutely. Now, I could push you right now, and you could defend yourself, but I got this man with the camera. He could chop it up and make it seem like you hit me first, and I could take that to court. Now, all you got to do is say, he's lying, he's lying. So, and I got this person right here and this person right here. All I got to do is have them to have my back, and he got the camera. So why do you think they wouldn't do that to Trump? But that's not what happened to Trump. What? Trump has done everything. Why? Publicly, Trump wants to be a dictator. Do you want a dictator? He's not a dictator. Well, he is he's not, a dictator. He's not, he's not a dictator. He's not a dictator. I'm sorry, but he used the DOJ. He weaponized it. Biden's never done Can I ask you, is the DOJ not weaponized against Trump no, now with four indictments? Is, is the press no, not weaponized with 90% of the no, press no, against Trump? No, why? Fox, Newsmax, OAN, they're weaponized. That's, that's three networks compared to 90. You see what his son, Hunter Biden, is doing, right? All he did was attack that. He put, he's literally putting crack on the camera. You mean coke? No, crack. Coke is, coke is a different. But you know, crack, coke, same thing. See, I would agree with you, but it's not. I'm saying penalties can be different. And you know who signed the, the the crack crime bill? And Trump even gave felons the right to vote. People don't even know that. If another person was putting crack cocaine on the camera, showing it to the world, wouldn't you want them to be locked up? I want them to be charged. Yeah, if they've committed a crime. Yeah. Like realistically. Like if I did that, put crack cocaine on the camera, put a gun on my side, they'll be like that boy, that boy. Like that's the truth. We gotta live in a reality. Absolutely. So, so why okay. the crimes that Trump has been charged with in, in four different jurisdictions, these aren't all biased prosecutors. He we tried to steal the election before I he still says it was stolen. Absolutely. He didn't no believe it's stolen. Legal. There's a lot of evidence. If I wanted to see a man in power do the right thing, I would like to see Biden put Hunter in jail. I'm not trying to put nobody in jail. It's job to put in jail. But he's doing that to Trump. You're contradicting you know, yourself. The people that in Trump's administration say he would be a dictator. He'd, he he would be the worst do president. Know, do you know what a dictator is? I absolutely know what a dictator is. Look at Putin. What about Hitler? Hitler was a dictator. And yeah. is Trump similar to Hitler? He's similar to Mussolini. Trump's never committed genocide. Like, your points no. make no sense. Trump's well, never killed anybody. He genocide the way he handled the COVID vaccine he the, and everything. Uh, he made the vaccine. Five, no, he did not make the vaccine. Operation Warp Speed. Well, it was already been made for, for 10 or 15 years. Yo, he just keeps pushing. Yeah. The, uh, he just keeps moving the goalposts over and over again. Well, let's talk about this. Well, let's Every talk about that. Every time they hit that. him with a fact. Every time they refuse. You can't handle Every it. Every time. Oh my gosh, this dude is upsetting me. Goodness gracious.
Can I, so you said earlier that 90% of black people will no, vote for Biden. Murder. Is that accurate? No, they won't. Is Trump a racist? Yes, he is. He's not a racist. How, how, are you, how, are you, how are you gonna tell the black person that he's not a racist when you're white, bro? How are you gonna say that? I personally don't feel like he's a racist. I'm a, I'm a black person. I come from humble beginnings. In my section, they will call it the trenches. I really grew up with people outside shooting people for nothing. You look outside, you see people selling crack. Right. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's where I came from. Trump is the only person hanging out with black people Kanye West. Andy was with Snoop Dogg. Andy was with 50 Cent. Andy's best friends with Mike Tyson. Snoop Dogg just came out and said he's voting for Trump. And YG, the guy that said, made the Donald Trump song, just said that Trump, he wants him back. And Lil Pump just got a tattoo of Trump's mugshot. They put this image out on Trump was a bad person. I'm, I'm pro-American, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we I, all, want, you, I hope we all are. Yeah, yeah. We want the best. That's, that's one, I feel like that's one thing we can't agree on. Do you remember when Trump had blew up? Baghdadi. He had, he had blew him up. A terrorist. So, Great thing he did. We're getting there. It also caused a lot of problems in Iran. He did it just like this, though. He didn't say other people would never die. There was there was no you new know, wars under Trump. You, yeah, that's the point. Stein, why was Trump, Trump wants to take over? But, but why didn't it happen when he was president? Why did it happen under Obama and Biden, but not under Trump? That's power. Because Trump is a strong man. Trump will put his foot down and say, "I don't. I, I care about America." Yes. You all want a dictator. That's oh, how we want America yeah. first. Yeah. We 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 want America first. America first is is the old uh, Nazi and the old. Uh, I'm Jewish. You call me a Nazi? No. No, 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 I'm Jewish. America first was the white nationalists in the 20s. I'm American nationalist. I, I care about America. Merton, are you American nationalist? I care about America. It's a fascist uh, concept. So you don't, want, you don't agree with the words put America first? No, I don't agree with America. But you, America. Yeah, right. you look American. American is part of the right. Me being looked at, you know what I'm looked at as. I'm from a place that really ain't too much mixed. You get where, where are you from? I'm from North Carolina. I'm from East Tennessee originally, so I know what you're talking about. So that's what I'm saying. Racism in America. You don't think I experienced racism? Absolutely. I got Your whole life, I'm sure. Now, now I got another question. So you don't think I would know what a racist is? I would think you would, but I think you've been deluded on Trump. See, Trump says stuff about everybody. It's certain landmarks that black people want to tear down. It's Confederate landmarks. Me personally, oh, I think white people do too. Me personally, I don't think it no, should. I grew up in the South. I, me personally, I don't think it should be torn down because at the end of the day, They're traitors. What we went through in the past determined our future. No matter what, I'm black. I stand with the blacks. You're it, on it, the American side too. Yes, America used to stand on business like fuck this. I throw that tea overboard. They're not doing that no more. Biden is letting anything go. Trump is coming through like, nah, bro, stop. You're not doing this. He wants to break down all the institutions so there is no law. Because the institutions aren't working. But have you ever heard Biden say we need to tax the rich, but then his son doesn't pay taxes for four years? You know Biden traded a terrorist for a basketball player. He traded an arms dealer for a basketball the biggest, player. That's the biggest gangster. Well. No, he is the biggest Russian arms dealer. The biggest gangster. You know, we still have the Marine in Russia. Okay, let's talk on that, bro. Because before I did, like, before I like was caught up on the truth and what wasn't the truth, Trump, Biden, and stuff like that, right? Before I understood where I was and started thinking for myself, I remember we did. I did a video, and I think I might have supported, not necessarily supported, like giving that person away, but I supported in getting Brittany Griner back, right? Well, now that I think about it, maybe that's just what it was. Like, like me personally, it was like, okay, like let's get Brittany Griner back. She didn't like do anything crazy, but in the in the country she was in, to them that was crazy. Like, you can't do that. They have their own laws and they abide by that. But it, I think people might have took it as like I su I supported what Biden did by giving this person for Brittany Griner, which we shouldn't have done. And now that I've like, you know, what I'm, I'm glad that came back up, bro. I'm glad that came up because if I were to go back, I'd say if there's not, if the only way to get Brittany Griner back is to give them this terrorist, she'd have to suffer the consequences. She'd have to, she'd have to handle it. She'd have to do the sentence that came with her crime. Like you would have to, you would have to go ahead and, and just take that on the chin. Just like if somebody in, in the U.S. did something. Now, do am I, am I, you know what I'm saying? Do I support like... Oh yeah, take him to jail. No, it don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? If you want to smoke a little tree, smoke a little tree. 
You feel me? But if you get caught up doing something you shouldn't be doing, you have to take those consequences on the chin. Brittany Griner, if there's any way we, like, you back now. But at the time, if there was anything we could do to get you back without compromising who we are as a country, okay. But if they're saying the only way we can get you back is if we give you a terrorist, I'm sorry. You got to take that on the chin. You got to take that on the chin. And I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Like I will come and speak to you about that and see how you feel. And even though you tell me how you feel, reality ain't going to change. If we can't just get you in, in some normal way, in an understandable way, back to the country, got to take it on the chin. What about Paul, Paul, Paul Wheelan? Biden is doing this to try to bring him down. Doing what? Trying to indict him. Indict him. He's not done anything. And then they indict him four times. So that's, that's Merrick Garland is in charge of all of that. And then Jack Smith, who he put in charge of that. All Democrats. Had, all, all Democrats, funded by the same people goes, that fund Biden. That goes back to what I'm saying, though. I'm like, you, I'm you, you don't money out of politics. You, but that's why people like Trump, because he funded his own campaign. He does not. He hasn't spent a dime of his own money. He lost money. He's the only president to get in the office and lose money. Yeah, he's, he's the only president. That's two billion. Who did he defraud in that case? He for defrauded four? the people in New York. How? Who did he because defraud? He, the banks got paid, the loans got paid. Are you a lawyer? Am I a lawyer? Yeah. No, but I know a lot of rich people with real estate. So I might not be a lawyer, but I might I might understand business. You, know? you don't understand the lawsuit in New York, but it was defrauded Are you a lawyer? in New York. Yes. Right. What's your, where'd you go to school? Went to Tennessee. I'm an entertainment lawyer. That's why. That's actually pretty. I'm I have an entertainment lawyer, lawyer too. And um, my entertainment lawyer has said that if they prosecute Trump on this charge in New York, that every real estate developer should be prosecuted. Well, I'll tell you this. I will, see, I will see you a year from now, and Trump will be back in the White House. He will not be back. The whole world's going to celebrate when Biden wins re-election. The whole, no, everyone Did wants Trump back. Phones? The whole world has went to shit since cars. Biden. We got the prices out of fucking control. We might have gone to World War III. Like, we literally have Israel and Palestine at war. We have Russia and Ukraine, and now we have China on the brink of war with Taiwan. None of this was happening if under Trump. Trump would say None of it was happening. World War II. If yeah, he doesn't get back into office. I'll tell you this. Trump is going to get back in the White House. He's going to win. He has more support now than ever. No matter how I go, Trump will get an unfair trial. How can you put a president of the United States, a former president, on the stand and not expect the jury to be biased? Okay, so y'all see. Good video, bro. Legendary video.